Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on how to dismember the body parts of these enemies upon an explosion like this. So now you can see a hand is here. This guy has lost a hand. This guy has lost a leg and he lost his head. Right. So let's see how to do that. Okay. All right, let me show you again. Okay, so let's see how to do that today. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. Right, so at the moment, if I shoot this barrel, so you don't really see any bones are broken the characters are simply dead so nothing is dismembered so that's what i'm going to work on today how to dismember maybe like arms or legs or head so how should we implement that so if i open the explosive barrel i have implemented this explosion and damaging through this explosive component which is implemented here the explosive component and here in this part this is explode function event and damage nearby objects what we are doing is calling this on explosion hit function which I have implemented through BPI damageable. Right, so we have implemented that for the characters. Let's see. Um, explosion hit. Ah, maybe I have implemented for oh, this is the NPC. Let's go here to the main any man character which is the parent character right here we have an explosion hit and here we have the damage and a dimples right uh, and one more thing my sound may my voice <laughs> you may hear it different because I think I may be having COVID so yeah I'm having severe sore throat at the moment uh, so sorry about that not that my voice was previously is any particularly pleasant or anything right so here uh, before so when we are dead before we start the ragdoll uh, let's break some bone <coughs> okay let's test this with the lower arm Copy selected bone names and maybe we would need some space here. <coughs> Break constraint of the mesh. So let me collapse this. break this mm. member <coughs> right uh let's keep these values as it is and put lower arm as the board name and play and see what happens right you see the leg hands are dismembered let me put this character also near the barrel so I can easily test this so instead of just breaking the arm I think it would be better if we randomly break some other parts as well upon an explosion so let 
me promote this to a variable so that I can get the type name <coughs> make this to an array okay I'll name this breakable bones and compile right now let's add few values here uh, what yeah let's put lower arm l and lower arm r <coughs> Far and carpet. What is and head? Or should I break from neck? Yeah, neck would be better. And if I want, I can add more bones here, but I think that should be enough. Right, so let's remove this too. And let's get a random bone from this kit. Length. Oh, length of this array. And get a reference so as the index let's add the random integer and in range so maximum value is the length of this uh, array or can we get the last index yeah yeah that is better something in between first index and last index and let's use this Right. Let me clean this up a bit. Okay. Let's test. Right. Some of them lose head, some of them lost an arm. Let's try again. Yeah, so this time some guy has lost his leg. Cool. Not cool, but looks cool. Not cool for real. Let's test again. Great. Alright. So it works. What if we add some impulse values here? Uh, how should we add that? Even without the impulses, it works. Where was it? We don't have a reference to the damage source here. <coughs> yeah, we have the explosion source. Um, let's add an input here to this damage.
right now here we can and also we can use in this bone um, now let's just use actor location as the heat location and see how it looks right impulse should be away from the source towards the actor so direction from the source to the actor or character who get hit and multiply this by some value let's say 500 we can modify this right let's see how this looks right so i guess it works fine mm, if we want we can increase this let's try something like 2000 and see how it looks right now this time the dismembered parts are parts are moved further away from the characters see? right so that's actually good because the smaller parts should be thrown further away and i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye